this is Chad and Josh. Hi. We're here with another fast tip. Today we're going to talk about thrust angle. Very important and very overlooked. Thrust angle can be both down, up, left, or right. Yes. Let's talk about the most traditional sense of thrust angle. Okay. So something like the, the Taylor Craft. It has a slight right and then a slight down yes. thrust angle. The torque of the motor is going to cause you to need to have the slight right thrust angle because it's going to want to pull the plane to the left. Okay, so as this force. turns, it's going to want to push the plane kind left. The plane tilt so it angles right a little bit to compensate. To counteract that. And the down is because of your thrust line being below the tail on the wing. It's going to want to pull the airplane up when you give throttle. The way you know you have a bad thrust angle is, is if you actually uh, chop your throttle and the plane either pitches up violently or down violently. You want to make it so your cruising speed and your idle speed, the plane's tracking the same. I know it, it doesn't seem like it works the way that it does. You'd yeah. think that if the propeller is pointing down on the front of a plane, it would pull the plane down. This little plane, if you yeah. notice, this has got a, a severe right thrust. Oh yeah, and there's a good reason for it too. Why is that? It has a severely big motor. Ah, yeah. I for agree. a little plane, a severely big motor, so it has to compensate even yeah. more. Usually the more thrust, more torque, the more extreme your thrust angles are going to be. So the Bixler now, yeah. Now its thrust angle is up. Now that's one of the few times you'll probably see a motor pointing up is on a pusher application. And the reason being is just like we were talking about the angle advantage with the uh, thrust line and the center line of the airplane. Um, if you had this just pointing store forward, every time you gave thrust, it would point the nose down. It would drive the nose down. And you know what? Our most common circumstance was the turkey plane. Mm -hmm. At full throttle, I had full up. Yet when I throttled back, the plane would glide really nice. I think Josh was afraid to let up on the throttle because he didn't know if when he let off the throttle yeah. if it was going to dive or if it was going to go up. Right? And just a little bit of thrust angle difference would have made a big difference. Experimental plane I have here, It was a, uh, I wanted to make a pusher out of a, uh, a uh, slow stick, so yeah. I used some arrow shafts and uh, built this. But right here we have armature wire. Um, armature wire is a bendable, rebendable uh, wire, and what you can do is you can actually just bend the thrust angle and it'll hold that thrust angle because it's stiff enough that the the force of the push yeah. uh, from the motor is not going to bend it but it's it's bendable yeah. enough that you can adjust it very easily the nice thing is is uh, i was able to go out and experiment and try 10 different thrust angles to see which one worked without best. even unplugging the battery right and also with your cg um, thrust angles where the plane is on your cg um, like on a wing where it's all the way in the back, mm -hmm. you don't have nearly the, the corrections because it's pushing the whole airframe. Where this is pretty close to the CG, so you have to make more compensation because it's more of a lever. Okay. Action. So if the, if the motor is back here, you could just drive that plane straight through the air. It wouldn't matter. Don't be afraid to just start with a neutral thrust it's angle. It's always the safest. Right. So just yeah. start with a zero thrust angle, yeah. and then you can trim your plane, or you can play with the thrust angle. After all of that. our swappables are zero zero. You could put little washers in the back of your mounts yep. to, to give a little thrust uh, yeah. change. Yeah, and, and if you don't want to change anything, you can always do mixing, and I know we have an episode about that too. Right. So. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for listening. See and, you next uh, time. we got to clean up our mess now. All right.